Good day. This is Module 4, Lesson 20, Homework Help for 5th grade. The objective is I will convert mixed unit measurements and solve multiple step word problems. Now mixed units means that it's probably going to be a mixed number. okay? And today we're going to be dealing with some uh, just converting from smaller units to larger units and larger units to smaller units. So there's two different ways we're going to do it. All right, so we have to look at this, and first we have two and sixteenth foot into inches. So a foot is smaller, or excuse me, is actually larger. LG larger, so we're going from larger to smaller. When we go to larger to smaller, we're going to be multiplying times a whole number. So, first of all, we have our 2 and 16 feet, and we're going to change that into 2 and 1 6, excuse me, times 1 foot. Now, this larger to smaller, I'm going to show you a tape diagram. Okay, so we have a tape diagram here. And we have our two feet, so I'm going to cut it into half. So we have two feet, and then we have one six more. Are you with me so far? Okay, so now our next question is, we need to find out how many inches in a yard, or excuse me, how many feet in an inch. So we have this here, and this equals one foot. That's going to be kind of hard for me to do this. Let me change my size of this. Okay, so there's four, and in the fours, it's going to be kind of tight. It's going to be really tight. Let me go ahead and redo this, okay? Only because I need to make it a little bit bigger so that you can understand what I'm doing. And I can, under I, I can see how to do it. So again, here's my tape diagram. I'm going to cut it in half. And then, of course, I'm going to add my 1 6. All of this is equal to 2 and 1 6 feet. Then underneath, one of them, I'm going to show one foot. So this is one foot. And I know that in one foot, how many inches are there? That's right, there's 12 inches. So I'm going to cut this into 12 pieces. Did I do that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, too many. Excuse me. I know what I'm doing. I just, by four, it should be by three. So I'm going to cut these into thirds. And there, I'm going to have 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So, one foot is equal to 12 inches. And that's how I know what to do over here. I'm going to do the 2 and 1, 6 again. And I'm going to multiply it this time twelve to tw times the 12 inches. Okay. Now, one of the things I would like to do is change this 2 and 1. 1, 6, I'm going to change it into a mixed number, okay? So I'm going to multiply 2 times 6, and then I'm going to add my 1. So 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, so I'm going to have 13, 6 times 12 inches, 
Okay, some of you can see the relationship between the 6 and the 12 right away. You can cross cancel, but those of you that can't, I'll go ahead and do it the longer way. All right, so now this is our new problem, 13 times 12 over 6. All right, and you can multiply 13 times 12. I know that 12 times 12 is 144. 144 plus 12 is 156. 12 times 12 equals 144 plus one more 12, and I'm going to have 156. So I'm going to have 156 over 6. Wow, that's a lot of work, right? Okay, I'm going to show you again the shortcut if you can figure it out. But now I have to do 156 divided by 6. All right, it can go in here two times. Okay, and I subtract 12 here, and I'm left with 3, 36. Then it has 6, no remainder. Okay, so my answer is 36. So it's 36 inches. Okay, 2016 is 36 inches. All right, now let me show you that faster way. So we have our 13 over 6 times our 12 inches. And I can cancel that once. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. Ah, and 13 times 2. is my new problem and the answer is 26 oh my gosh I wrote the problem wrong here or the answer wrong here this is 26 sorry those of you might be saying what happened yeah I just checked my numbers again you always have to do that right I always check your work all right so it's 26 inches and that makes sense because two feet is equal to 24. So I know my answer is going to be greater than that. All right. So here we're going from feet and that's smaller than yards. So this time we're going the other way. Okay? So we're going to be going the other way from feet, small, to yards, which is uh, larger. We're going to start off the same. We're going to go 3 and 3 fourths. Feet is equal to 3 and 3 fourths times 1 foot. Now if we do a tape diagram, Okay, it's going to be a little bit tricky to show you on the tape diagram, and um, I don't want to get you confused on this, but I do want you to see that this is one yard, and hopefully you know that there is three feet in the yard. Okay. So this is one foot, so there's three feet in the yard. Okay, so three feet equals one yard. Again, you can look that up on page 35 of your module or in your science notebook, or if you really, 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 really have to, you can see how many feet in a yard on Google. All right, so now, because we're going smaller to lar uh, larger, uh, I wrote, larger we are going to be dealing with a fraction so this is going to be one-third and then we have our three and three-fourths so here we're going to put this underneath and create that one-third just like we did yesterday's lesson or yes yesterday's for some of you 
All right, so now converting this into an uh, improper fraction, that, that's 12 plus 3 is 15. So I have 15 fourths times 1 third. And I am going to do the shortcut here. I know that 3 can go into that number 5 times, and 3 can go into 3 1 time. So now I have 5 times 1 over 4 times 1. And that gives me 5 fourths. And hopefully you see that that's 1 and 1 fourth. Again, for those of you that don't know how I did that, five and f I can decompose it into 4 fourths and 1 fourth. And I know that 4 fourths equal 1. So there's my 1 and 1 fourth. OK, so again, This is actually larger than your yard. That's why I was a little leery of showing you on the tape diagram. So we actually have a little bit more hanging over here. Okay, But you just need the tape diagram to understand that you're, you're doing a smaller unit. Okay, While over here, you are trying to get to the inches, or excuse me, you're going from smaller to larger in the right, and on the left, you're going larger to smaller. We went from feet to inches. Okay, so here we have cups to pints. I know that there's two cups in one pint, so I know this is going to be more than one. Okay, but I am going from, I'm going to get it right this time, smaller to larger. Okay, so this is actually the same as over here. Cups are smaller than pints. So therefore, if you look at your water bottle, you'll see it, that um, it is 16 ounces, which is close to two cups. Okay, so we're doing one, excuse me, two cups is equal to one pint. So we're going to do this again. It's going to be a half. So we have two and one half cups is equal to the same as two and one half times one cup. Okay. And now we have, I'm going to go ahead and convert this right here. Two times two is four plus one is five. So we have five halves here. And we're going to multiply it times one half pint. Okay, I can't cross cancel, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to have five times one over two times two, which is equal to five fourths. Or, yep, five fourths again. Same answer that we got over here, just to getting it a different way, which equals to one and one fourth. So two and a half cups is one and one fourth of a pint. All right, here we're going from years, which is a large unit, to months, which is a small unit. So this is going to be closer to this one over here. So we're going to be multiplying times a larger number. So we're going to start off the same way. 3 and 2 thirds. And actually, you can almost uh, draw the tape diagram the same way as we did before. So we have three years this time, and then we have a little extra. So I'm going to cut this part into thirds. And then we have our representation of months. So this is 12 months, or one year, excuse me. And we know that it is 12 months. OK. And this is our total of 3 and 2 thirds. OK. So you see how the tape diagrams are going to show you the difference of what we're doing. So let's get zoom in a little bit. 
And then we have our 3 times 2 thirds times 1 year. All right. And then we're going to change this. I'm going to convert it right now. Save me a step. 9, 10, 11, 11 thirds. Okay. If you don't know how I did that, let me show you. 3 and 2 thirds. I can change this into 3 thirds plus 3 thirds plus 3 thirds. That represents the 3. And then I have 2 thirds. All right. If I add this plus this plus this, I'm going to get 11. So 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 more is 9, plus 2 more is 11. All right, and now I'm going to multiply it times 12. So I'm going to use this 12 months in one year. All right, hopefully you see the connection here. We have the 3 and we can put 3 into 12 four times and 3 into 3 one time. So then we have our 11 times 4 over 1. And that gives us 44 over 1, which is equal to 44 months. So if you think about it, 3 years times 12 is 36. So our answer is going to have to be greater than 36 because it's 3 and 2 thirds. Okay. Any questions? Hopefully not. All right, I'm going to skip this one for a while, but you're going from seconds. Oh, actually, I'm going to help you set it up. And it says two minutes. So seconds are smaller to larger. And I'm not going to set it up for you. That's my only hint for you. So look at our examples over here where we did smaller to larger. We're multiplying times a fraction. So think about what fraction we have from seconds to minutes. What's the fraction? How many seconds in one minute? And then write it as a fraction. All right. So this one was a little intricate. It's not one of the homework ones, but I wanted to tackle this and show it to you. So we have Horace buys two and three-fourths pounds of blueberries for, for a pie. All right, so I want to go ahead and draw that. I'm going to draw my two. And then we are drawing a little bit more. And this is what he buys. He needs 48 ounces of blueberries for the pie. How many more pounds how many more should tell me that there's going to be some kind of subtraction happening? Pounds of blueberries does he need to buy? Okay, so the 48 ounces is how much he needs. So I'm going to draw this and just draw longer because I know that he's going to need 48 ounces. And what we're looking for is this amount. We don't know what this amount is. How much more does he need? He needs to buy more. OK, so over here, we're back over here. This is representing our 2 and 3 fourths pounds. Now, pounds to ounces we have large to small. So if we look back at our examples over here, large to small means we're going to multiply it times a whole number. OK, so we need to know how many pounds. There's one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So we're going to be multiplying times a 16. OK? All right, so we start off with 2 and 3 fourths. Actually, it's actually, um, if you look carefully, nope, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to convert my 2 and 3 fourths into ounces. Right now they're pounds, libras. 
So I'm going to go 2 and 3 fourths times 16. Oh, I went too fast. Times 1 pound. And I'm going to go ahead and convert this. This is 12 plus 3 is 15 fourths. I think we did that already. Times 16 okay, ounces. One pound equals 16 ounces. We can see that right up here. Okay, so I converted it to 16 ounces. So now we have ounces. All right, some of you can see it, but I'll go ahead. Um, no, I, I actually want to cross cancel here. 16 times 15 is going to be too hard, but I know that 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4, and 4 divided by 4 equals to 1. So now I have my new one of 15 times 4 over 1. Okay, and that gives me 15 plus 15 is 30, so 30 times 2 is 60 over 1. So my answer is 60 ounces. That's wrong. Something went wrong. Wow. What did I do wrong? Hmm. I'm a little confused. I did all the work, right? Two pounds is, oh, excuse me. Two times 16. Oh, I know what I did wrong. It says he needs 48 more ounces. How many more pounds of blueberries? So it's actually the 48 ounces that I have to change into <laughs> to pounds. Oh my gosh, that's my mistake. So we need 2 and 3 fourths plus the 48 ounces. Okay, but they want me to change the 48 ounces into pounds. Oh my gosh. So that was tricky. So I need to change the 48 ounces into pounds. So ounces to pounds, it's going to be 16 ounces to one pound. So therefore, we're going to be using, <laughs> okay, we're going to be using a fraction here. One ounce is equal to one sixteenth of a pound. And I can cross cancel already. I know my crossing here. All right, I can go four times one and two, and four times is four. And I'm going to have 12 over four. Well, that's not the answer they give me. He needs 48, oun 48 ounces of blueberries for the pie. How many more pounds of blueberries does he need? Okay. Um, well, it says three pounds. He needs three pounds total. So he needs one fourth of a of a pound. So he needs one fourth of a pound. And you might be saying, wait, you got three. How did you get one fourth? Well, he has two and three fourths, and he needs to minus, or excuse me, he needs three pounds, and he needs to minus the two and three fourths, which is equal to one fourth. All right, I know that was confusing. I'm sorry about that. You see, I have to even go back and revise my thinking. So this part was wrong. This is the part that was correct. Okay, I still needed my one pound equals 16 ounces. All right, so today our word of the day is revise. R-E-V-I-S-E, revise, because we always have to go back and check our work.
All right. Good luck.